Well, after any natural disaster, cities and states have to report the amount of damage that they've uh, uh, incurred to the federal government. And that's how they determine if FEMA will provide the area with financial help. Well, the city of Chesapeake is asking its citizens to let them know where Dorian left damage. 13 News Now's Megan Shin shows us how. After a storm like Hurricane Dorian hits, cities in Virginia usually have three days to find out what damage there is to the city, then report it to the state. It's called an initial damage assessment. Every locality participates in that. Rob Braidwood is the deputy coordinator of emergency management in the city of Chesapeake. He says if there's a tree down on your place or flooding in your house, the city wants to know about it. Then if there's about $875,000 of damage, the federal government can help in the form of a presidential disaster disaster declaration. That means the city would get money to help the community make repairs. It's that assistance that goes to citizens that might not have financial resources. In Chesapeake, reporting the damage is a two-step process, with the city looking at city facilities for damage, plus the people checking private property. That's where you come in. Braidwood says people have two ways to let them know what damage they have. One way is to call 382 City or file a form on the city's website. It's a pretty easy to fill out form. A city inspector will look at the damage in person and add it to their data. So it's really, really important that we capture all the damages that happened in the city so that uh, people can get the help they need. If there's enough damage, it takes about 30 days to receive any FEMA assistance. Regardless, Braidwood says going through the reporting process is a good habit for citizens of Chesapeake to get used to. Every storm, this is going to be a process they're going to have to participate in. In Chesapeake, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.